Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to configure recurring products in Knob Commerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.2. So before we get into configuration part, let's talk about what are recurring products. Recurring products are items such as memberships, subscriptions, and other products that are built and delivered regularly. So some of the use cases of recurring products are subscription based products, auto delivered products like training materials that you can ship out every month, once a year, or any periodic time frame. Membership clubs. One of the biggest advantages of offering recurring products is consistent revenue. Because recurring billing is consistent, it guarantees that you will get paid. You can use this information to forecast future growth in your revenue. A good news is that Knobcommerce offers recurring products features out of the box with no customization whatsoever. All you have to do is go to the admin section and configure your products for a recurring billing cycle. And there you have it. That's all you have to do. So let's look into the administration section and see how you can actually configure and add products to offer a recurring billing cycle. So let's go to the dashboard section. To configure recurring products, let's take an example of if you, we will be adding a new product from scratch. So go to catalog, products, and let's try adding a new product. So in this example, let's take an example of um, if you have a store site running based on op commerce and you are offering some kind of training material every month. So we'll here put um, fitness training material monthly. Okay. So in the short, short description, we'll just talk about the product. Okay. We'll just use the same description in full description as well for this example. And let's make sure that this is published. And let's set up some price. Let's say this is $50. Let's say this is shippable. And Shipping is enabled. Let's say this is 10 pounds. We'll just make some random numbers here for, for tests. Okay. That's it. And yeah. So you can see that you will configure your product just like how you will configure any other product on your OpCommerce site. To configure the recurring product, all you have to do is make sure to enable this option, recurring product. So once you have enabled this option, it will give you some sub categories of option where you have to define the cycle length, cycle period, and total cycle. So for instance, let's say if you're offering um, monthly product. In this case, we are adding fitness training material monthly. So in this case, what we'll do is it's a monthly cycle. It's one product per month. So it's cycle length is each month. And total cycle, let's say, in this case, you basically make sure that the product is subscribed or for, for a whole year. So somebody's buying that monthly, they'll be getting this for 12 months. Total cycle would be 12. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is save and continue. In fact, now that we have saved our product, let's add an image as well. Oh, 
Okay. And just make it one. And save and continue. Great. So now that we have added a product, new product, with the, and we have enabled recurring product option for this particular product, we'll go to the online store, public store, and let's search for our new product. Okay. Looks like the image was not uploaded, so let's upload it here. Perfect. Now that we have successfully uploaded the image, let's refresh the page again. And there you have it. So this is our product, Fitness Training Material Monthly. And when the customer is buying this product, since you have configured this product as recurring product in the back end, they will add this product just like a regular product in the shopping cart. Add to cart. And when we go to shopping cart, when customer is checking out, they will definitely see the option where it says auto ships every one month. So right there, it basically clarifies that to the customer that it'll the auto ship every one, once a month. So few things you have to keep in mind while working with recurring products is that you can define a recurring product to any product in order to enable the system to automatically create repetitive order. So in this case, system will use the payment details of the initial order for the sub subsequent recurring order. In addition, the original shipping charges will be applied to the subsequent order. So whatever met payment method I use in this order, same method will be used in future orders as, as well. That system will, will automatically generate. Any shipping that I pay right now will be used again in future orders as well. So one thing to keep in mind is that in order to configure recurring products on your store site, at least one of the active payment modules that you have should support recurring payments. So please keep in mind that your payment method supports recurring payments. So this is how you can configure recurring products in Knob Commerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.